it's Ella, and today I have a book review for you. Um, it is Shipbreaker by Paolo Bacigalupi. Um, this is a book that has won quite a few awards. Um, uh, where to start with this book? So, this book just... I guess I want to do a review of it because I was a little bit confused when I started reading it, just because I was, there was a few misconceptions out there about this book. Um, the story, the like synopsis just says that um, Naylor, who is the main character of the story, yes, that is really his name, um, is a shipbreaker and he finds a ship and has to decide basically if he wants to use it to escape or if he wants to break it down, because she's a, he's a shipbreaker. Um, this is set in a society where it's science fiction, I guess, dystopian e. Um, it's set in a society where basically you're either very very poor or you're very very rich. Naylor is very poor. His father is a drunk. He is a drug addict, and he is not a very nice person at all. So Naylor basically, you know, he finds solace in his team of shipbreakers, in his crew, um, and when a storm hits, he actually saves his dad's life because his dad is drugged out, um, sleeping in their hut on the beach, and when a storm hits, he actually saves his dad's life, um, and a couple of days after the storm, him and one of his crewmates find one of the new ships, Now, when I say ship, I'm talking boat. I was under the impression that it was like space ship e maybe a little bit. Um, definitely boats. There's no boat on this. It just looks rusty. Kind of a bummer. Um, the other cover does have a ship on it, like a boat on it. Um, so he finds the ship and basically he thinks him and his crewmate think they have hit a lucky strike, what is very frequently referred to in this book as a lucky strike. But then there's some complications, and the story basically unravels and talks about what happens and what some of the hard decisions are that Naylor has to make in order to be okay with himself, um, and in order to be okay with you know, the life he's living and the person he's becoming. Um, that's the story on the surface. Underneath it all, I feel like this book is more about what we consider family versus what we consider... I don't even know how to put this. Naylor doesn't identify with his father, but he considers his crewmate and her mom closer to his family than he considers his dad. And so it's about family and social standing. A lot of it is about social standing. Um, there is a basically the rich side and the poor side clash, and there's that's basically how the story unravels. Um, it is an interesting story. I just I don't necessarily seek out very deep reading because that's too much thinking. I know that sounds really weird, but I read to enjoy it, not to get deep with it, and so this was a little bit too deep for me. Um, I did enjoy the book. I would probably give it about three out of five stars. Um, that's pretty much all the non-spoiler-y stuff that I can say about it. I do want to go into the spoiler-y stuff just to explain myself a little bit better, but if you haven't read this book, I suggest you turn away from the computer, or click to another video, or something. Um, it is a good book, like I said, 3 out of 5 stars. It is quite deep, just because it is. I'm guessing that's why it won a lot of awards. There you go, not really my thing though. Okay, so, spoilers in 3, 2, 1. So the first thing that I was confused about is the fact that there was actually a person that was alive on the ship that Naylor and his crewmate found. I wasn't expecting that, just because I was under the impression that he could either take the ship or strip the ship. 
uh, but that's not the case because it's not his property. And so while his crewmate wants to basically cut off the girl's fingers because she's wearing gold jewelry, Naylor wants to save her, try to save her. And then his dad comes along and finds them in the bushes, trying to hide, and takes everything for himself. Um, Naylor's father is a complete mess. He is essentially a monster. And I feel like this story talks a lot about nature versus nurture. I know Naylor worries a lot about if he's becoming like his father or if he's going to be like his father. Because, you know, while he's trying to run away with Nita, the girl that he found on the ship, he keeps questioning if he's doing the right thing, if he should have just let her, let his father essentially pawn her. Kind of like a kidnapping sort of a situation. Um, and so he runs away, he basically chooses the right path the entire time. He chooses to save Nita, and there's a smidgen of romance in this book um, between Naylor and Nita, but it's not forced, it's very natural. It was, I was glad that there was a little bit of romance, just to liven up the story a little bit, but I'm glad that it wasn't concentrating on that. Um, also, the social standing aspect of this book because of the fact that Nita is so incredibly wealthy and Naylor is so incredibly not, there's quite, you know, there's different standards. All the, you know, crew that works on the ships, shipbreaking yards and, and all of that, they think that the swanks, the wealthy people, are all pretty much worthless and they don't know what they're doing. And Nita surprises Naylor a lot, but he's mad enough to admit it, which is great. Um, this book just, it, I know it is a first in the series, um, I don't think I will be continuing with it, um, but it was, I mean it was okay, it wasn't anything to run home about, but I did read it. Um, it took me about, that's why I have this little post-it note, um, it took me till about page 200 to actually realize, like this isn't actually about shipbreakers. This is about social standing, and it goes so much deeper than that. It goes into family, and nature versus nurture, and what the right thing is. And this book also concentrates a lot on luck, and the fates, and the people... Um, what's the word? Like, give stuff to the fates? Um, I can't think of the word. It's late. Uh, but a lot of it... A lot of it. If you look below the surface, it's all there. It just takes a little bit to click if you're not expecting it. So that's my review of The Shipbreaker by Paolo Bacigalupi. Um, if you have read this book, let me know what you thought of it. If I missed some things, um, let me know if you have any questions about it. And let me know if you are interested in reading after me rambling about it for a little bit. Um, hope you have a great night. I hope to see you soon and thanks for watching. Bye!